toll road through the center of Point Siena on Cypress Parkway. Why not bring the road north from South Lake Toho along the east side of Rudy Creek and build a bridge crossing Rudy Creek to Co-op? Or why not head the road south of Cypress Parkway through the Disney Wilderness Preserve? Ralph, do you want to uh, discuss that? Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll take a stab at it. You know, the, the PD&E study um, and the concept study uh, really were um, spinoffs, if you will, of previous um, and current adopted long range transportation plans and studies that were done um, even before CFX um, got involved in this project. And, you know, it, it's always a difficult decision on, you know, where to site or, or put, you know, a project in location, um, you know, there are going to be impacts. Um, the Cypress Parkway um, corridor, I think, and Cliff, I think you were involved in some of these earlier studies uh, for Osceola County uh, going back to 2009, 2010 for the South Fork connector. I mean, your, your beginning point was the intersection of Cypress Parkway and Pleasant Hill Road. Um, and even before that, Osceola County's um, comprehensive plan had started identifying the need for new corridors uh, to identify you know, the outer beltway of expressways um, in, in the Orlando urban area. Uh, and so it's a, you know, a number of those previous studies uh, that were conducted that, that you know, located this, the South Fork Connector project in the vicinity of, Cy vicinity of Cypress Parkway. Um, you know, in the case of COA, you know, the right of way available um, along Cypress Parkway is 300 feet. And the available right of way along COA is, is about half of that. So there would be significant community impact in trying to build this project um, along the Coa Street corridor just by looking at existing aerials and, and driving down that existing corridor. Uh, there are schools that are located along that, that corridor. Uh, so you know, there would be significant uh, social impact as well as you know, crossing Reedy Creek and the watershed there uh, where no right of way currently is available. That's another advantage uh, to the Cypress Parkway corridor is that east of Pleasant Hill Road uh, there's, there's existing right-of-way available um, to site this project. And then, of course, you know, going even further south to try to go through the Disney Wilderness Preserve, you know, the whole purpose of doing these projects is to identify viable alternatives that minimize, to the greatest extent, um, impacts to the social, natural, physical, and cultural environment. And so it's, it's, it's you know, always a trade-off. Um, when you have impacts, you need to mitigate for them. But if our alternatives emerge that, you know, do a better job of minimizing impacts than other alternatives, then the, the process um, dictates that those alternatives uh, should be considered more viable. Um, so that's, you know, kind of a, there are a lot of factors involved in, in corridor and alignment um, studies and, and siting projects. So I, I don't know if that helps answer the question. I, I know it's, 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 it's challenging to, to have this project come, come down Cypress Parkway. Uh, but again, the, the, the decisions were made um, previous to our efforts um, and, and we're just, we're, we're moving those, those studies forward. I don't know if Jonathan or anyone wants to add to that. No, I think you covered it. Like you say, it's just kind of a question of right away. I mean, you know, in the in the OCX master plan, there they they were analyzing two options. One went up Marigold um, to get to Point Santa Parkway, and, and you know, again, that's the same situation where there's only 150 feet of existing right of way on Marigold Avenue, which basically only allows for them to widen to four lanes. Um, so it's kind of a matter of, you know, both with COA and Marigold only having 150 feet of existing right away, whereas Cypress has 300. Um, that, 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 that's kind of the choice by default, um, you know, and, and what some of the, um, you know, the previous studies and, and, and representatives from Osceola County had determined.